Look at this guy. Beautiful little frog. Madagascar is amazing. It has something like 400 species of frog. And <laughs> the crew gets really frustrated because I like to figure out what every single one that I can't identify is. So look this guy up quickly. Keep him in my hand. People seem to think that you know every single species in the world on first glance, but the truth is that's impossible. I mean, there's millions and millions of species of animal. So what I'm going to do is what's called keying out an animal where, you know, you, first of all, you glance through the images, see if you can find something similar. Um, you do that based on taxonomy. Once you find the group that the animal should fit into, what you do is, you know, things like count the toes, uh, look at where the elbow joints are, count the markings, et cetera, et cetera. But in an area like this, that's this remote, it would make sense that, you know, these animals could either be unique looking based on their appearance could be different based on the habitat. Um, there's so many species here that aren't even named or are identified. It's just incredible. But anyway, I'm going to try to key this guy out. So I've just gone through all the literature and I've narrowed it down to the family Bufus, but you know, as I look through the text and I read the keying, I cannot see anything that matches this animal. So what's incredible is in a place like Madagascar, this little frog could be completely new to science. This could be a new species that no one knows about, and I can't find it in the book, so it's probably safe to assume that this is an undescribed species. And there are just so many of them here that, you know, nobody may have ever been up this creek bed before. This animal could be completely endemic to just this little area. There could be no one that's ever seen one before. People could step on them all the time and not know, and it's just an amazing thing. I'm not here on a mission to look for new species, but you know, it's probably safe to say that this is a creature that's never been identified by science before. It's not in the guide, it's not in the field guide, which has over 400 species of frogs and was published just a few years ago. So sitting right here in my hand, could very easily be an entirely new species of frog to science, which could have medical cures that we don't even know about, could have toxin in the skin, could be harmless, could have unique biology. And the truth is, I'm not here on a frog expedition, so I won't ever know. But let him go on his merry way.